Hello and welcome to another edition of Fridays with Father. Well, last Sunday was Easter. And so we're thinking the next day, Monday, well, just another day. Well, actually, Easter is not really over. Easter keeps going on for 50 days. And we call that the, and at the end of the 50 days, we call that the Pentecost event. So from Easter to Pentecost, we have 50 days of Easter celebration. So Easter really is not over. We now have a 50-day uh, time of celebration of the Easter season. And so that's really important, I think, for us to remember as Christian Catholic people, that we spent 40 days preparing well for Easter. And then now we will spend the next 50 days giving thanks to God for the resurrection of his son Jesus, who died for us. And so the thing is, we can kind of get into an idea of, well, just Easter is done because we can go back to eating chocolate or drinking alcohol, the stuff we gave up for Lent. But really, Easter is supposed to be a lot longer. That is, when we celebrate Easter, we are called to celebrate um, changes that we make for a lifetime. And so... Um, Easter is really a time for us to celebrate our renewed self. That is, we are different now than we were before. And so we have to really ask ourselves, is Easter just done for us now and we go back to everything that we were doing previously? No, Easter really should change us. Easter should be a resurrected time for us in which we say our patience with family members is resurrected and we have a new life. Our, uh, our living with our family, now we're in a resurrection time, and so we should do our best to be as loving and respectful as we can with the people in our house. And so if we have resolved to be better people during Lent, now during Easter is our time to shine, is our time truly to live in a resurrected, renewed way. Remember that um, as we look at the Old Testament readings that we had on Easter Vigil, the people passed through the Red Sea, the Israelite people passed through the Red Sea, leaving slavery behind, going into a new place, a place flowing with milk and honey that God has promised to us. So also, too, we should be leaving behind our old selves and coming into a new time, a new place for ourselves where we're able to live as Christ has called us. And so we pray that during this Easter season, 50 days, this Easter season, and even beyond, that we can truly be the disciples the Lord calls us to be. First of all, living in peace with our brothers and sisters, all of the people that we encounter each day. Being charitable and kind to the poor and those who are on the fringes of society. Reaching out a hand to those who are in need, the sick, the suffering, those who are finding life difficult. And so doing all of these things during the Easter season, we can deepen our faith, deepen our relationship with others, and deepen our relationship with God. And so today, when I come to you, I don't say, great, Easter's done. I say, happy Easter to you, and I will say happy to Easter to you for the next 50 days. Happy Easter, and have a great day.